Okay, I'm here with Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hello. So Vanessa, Vanessa's going to talk about, uh, she's been a client with me. I'm not even sure how, how long you've been working with me. Um, and I just want to get out there a little bit about um, our working together. Do you know how long it's been? What was that? Sorry? Do you know how long we've been working together? Yeah, I know it was probably around July last year. July. Okay, so about uh, about six months. Yeah. Six, seven months. Okay, so Vanessa actually lives in Australia, which is why we're we're taping it. And um, so Vanessa, can you do you do you remember a, a little bit of the background? First of all, I don't how how you found me, and then why you called me. Yeah, actually, just quickly first, I just wanted to say that it's got here um, the seventh of around the seventh of June when I look back at the Skype call. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we, I started. With you, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you remember and how I Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I was had a lot of anxiety and. I was looking up post-traumatic stress disorder on the internet and your website came up, Strongest Mind. Um, so I read all the details on the website um, and I've done a little bit of work with flower essences before um, and so I read the website and then I, I think I took a little bit of time after that, probably about two weeks after that is when I contacted you. Okay, uh, from there, what happened? Uh, well, we um, we had our first session, um, like I booked a consultation with you, um, and because at the time I was struggling with anxiety so bad, I couldn't drive, I couldn't leave the house, I thought I was going to lose my mind, um, and that I, or that I was going to die. Uh, I was having panic attacks all day, every day, um, and it's been five and a half years. Uh, in some of that time, though, it had calmed down a bit, but since the birth of my son that year, um, it had sort of re-triggered everything, and the anxiety had come back really bad. Uh, I had to go through my pregnancy with massive anxiety, then when my son was born, it got even worse. I was a mess. Um, also, the year before, when my son was five months old, I got dermatitis so bad on my hands and ended up getting two staph infections. Uh, and the dermatitis ended up all up my arms, chest and face. Um, I managed to get it under control with nutrition and some cell salt, described by the naturopath. Uh, but it was the essences that Amy described that really cleared it up. Uh, it still is a little bit around um, the dermatitis, but it is it's sort of a little bit of a like your yeah, anxiety levels are coming back up again. It's sort of a bit of a what would you call it like a wake up call and just a little bit of a warning that you need to look at stuff. Um, but it's never been as bad as what it was. I mean, I ended up with uh, pretty much looking after a five-month-old baby with two fingers. And that was my right middle finger and index finger. My left hand was not usable and my right hand was barely usable. Um, and, you know, that was a sign that my anxiety levels were through the roof, but I just didn't know what to do about them. Um, so... After we worked on clearing up and calming down the anxiety, which only took around four to six weeks, um, so, I mean, I was having anxiety all day, every day, like panic attacks, just flat out. So when I say the anxiety cleared up, I was probably only having one or two attacks a week compared to all day, every day. Um, and I think it took us probably about, I don't know, I think it was about two and a half months to fully not have any panic attacks at all. Um, 
Yeah, so... Um, so how was it after the first month? Do you remember... Do you remember the change after the first month of being on the remedies? Yes, well, um, I'm just trying to think. Do you remember the change within you? The change within me? Yeah. Did you say? Do you remember, yeah. do you remember there being change in your anxiety within the first month and, and depression within the first month of using the remedies? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And, uh, you know, I was able to sleep and just uh, things started to calm down a lot. Um, I mean, also, I suppose, like, I had anxiety for, like, five and a half years. Like, full on so bad when I got it that I couldn't drive the car, I couldn't leave the house, I couldn't watch TV. I was basically I had to just stare at the ground every day, all day, um, after my car accident, um, which is yeah, about no, it's probably six years ago now. Um, so it was quite intense anxiety, like. So I suppose after a month, it had gone down probably what maybe. Between thirty and fifty cents. So yeah. it was it, it was still there, but it was it was like coming down quite dramatically. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so and now? Yeah, so now, now, now it's, now it's good, good, really, really good. Really, really good. Do you struggle um, with it? Uh, no, not, not as bad as what I was at all. If it comes up, I recognize it. Sorry, the, the, um, throwing my voice back at me, that's why I'm having trouble. <laughs> um, like it might come up a little bit here and there, but I kind of realize, ah, uh, you know, what's happening here? What aren't I speaking up? What? Why is this? What am I? What emotions am I suppressing? What aren't I looking at? I can look at it from a more detached place instead of before. I used to just go into it and I couldn't come out of it. I couldn't see anything else out of it. It was just yeah, it was full on. I was in it, like right in it. Um, but I mean, it's probably seriously like. Anxiety levels maybe one or two percent <laughs> mm. compared to a hundred, hundred and fifty percent. Wow! And do you feel like you're in full control of your life now? Yeah, I do. Much more. Much more. Mm. And I'm feeling like every time we work on essences, and we, I feel like I get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger in myself. And I speak up so much better. Um, I mean, especially like because I work with clients as well, and I can work with a client and see now when I'm working, especially with anxiety, I can see what's going on and why their anxiety is there and what's happening with them, and I'm able to prescribe much better as well mm -hmm. and help them through too. So, um, yeah, I just think working with the essences of really, they've just helped me so much. Um, you know, become so much stronger and it's so much nicer living a life with so much less anxiety and I'm able to... And even, do, now, like, Adam? even now when you struggle with stress, I mean, uh, first two questions, do you feel like you're on your life path and that you're living your life and and what happens now when you have stress or a very tough situation? How how can you ha how do you handle it? I just well I handle it pretty much straight away. Like I just go you know this is a situation. What needs to be done here? And then I just say what I need to say or do what I need to do. Uh, Whereas before, I would suppress and just run away. 
Because mm-hmm. um, at the moment you have me on tall mulla mulla, one of the essences, and I find that being because a part of my anxiety was that I would be in a like a situation of people or you know just just one on one with someone, and I couldn't say what I truly felt in fear of hurting them or you know upsetting them or being the real people pleaser type person. Um, whereas now I just go, blah, 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 this is how it is, this is how I feel. And however they feel about that is sort of their stuff, not mine. And I have to be able to express myself. And, um, and you know, there's been no problem. People just go, oh, yep, yeah, okay, no worries. And... So the next step is I, actually... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's right. No, no, it's finished, it's all good. To be is now um, she's going to study to be a practitioner because we need we need more practitioners and she is in um, uh, alternative healing. So it just goes to show you where the same way it took me to this place and now it's taking Vanessa to this place that could really take take us all to some great great places and and we are in such need of practitioners. People don't know um, how wonderful these remedies are. And how plant-based therapy can really can really help. So, do you have any you have any um, words of wisdom, any recommendations, any anything you want to tell people before we hang up on the call? I know it's like twelve thirty there at night. That's all right. No, it's actually it's ten to one in the afternoon, so it's all good. <laughs> um, well, faith, right. faith, Sorry. Um, I find that the essence, taking essences, is like taking a journey into yourself, uh, helping to remove the blocks that stand in your way to you achieve, achieving your dreams and desires. Um, I'm doing things now that I have only dreamed about. I'm definitely not stopping now. So. Yeah, the just the essences are. I mean, there's not a day that goes by that I don't use the essences because they're just so. They're just wonderful tools to keep you emotionally balanced and moving forward and peeling away the layers to your true self. Um, and I help my being able to help my son and my partner and then friends and family and then clients and. And actually seeing true results, you know, it's just like, yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's like you won't believe it until they try it, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just, and and the good thing about them as well is they're very gentle and very subtle. So you'll just sort of be like, oh, hang on a minute, that's what's going on here. And you'll have oh, inside. What was that? Yeah. Sorry. No, and, and it's like you forget that you are struggling. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, they're just great. And um, if you, you know, if you're struggling or whatever it is you're going through, you know, essences could really help move that and clear that. Stuff clear that through and help you connect back to yourself and, and get what you want out of life. So, yeah. Yeah. I hope I've got okay. it all, but they're really good. <laughs> I thank you so much for sharing your story and for um, helping people to understand what they can do. Okay. So, no I will, yeah. Um, so, I will talk to you soon. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, and I'm going to I'll end the recording now. Okay, sure. Bye. Okay, thank you, Lisa. No worries. Bye. Bye.